In the previous video, uh, we found the value of A, which was negative uh, 10. Okay, let me read the question. In, in an arithmetic progression, the first term is negative 10, the 15th term is 11, and the last term is 41. Find the sum of all the terms in a prog progression. Now, <clears throat> so we saw how we got A is negative 10, which is the first term. And then I, I gave you this formula. Now, in the next video, I will prove this formula, which is Tn, or the nth term formula and also the formula of Sn, which we are going to do, use now. Uh, we'll accept the formula in the next video, those who are interested to see or know how this formula uh, come about, you can watch my next video. Okay, so we want to find the sum of all the terms. So we know A is negative 10. So basically they're asking you find S35. That's the question because we found that n was 35 in the last video. n was 35, and we saw that d was 1.5. Where is our d? So this is our d. Uh, this is our a, and this is our n. Okay. So now the formula of S n, which is stands for the sum of n terms, is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times t. In some books, they may give you this, the same thing as n over 2 times a plus tn. So that's one and the same thing. If you distribute this, it will be a plus. So we can use, I like to use this formula. This is also good. So let us substitute. Uh, you can use also this formula. So let us use this formula. We want to find S35. So I'm just using this formula. So that is 35 divided by 2 times 2 times A, which is negative 10, plus N is 35. So that is 35 minus 1 times 1.5. Let us simplify this a little. So this is 35 divided by 2 which is six, uh, 34 divided by 2 is 17, so this is 17.5 times negative 20 plus 34 times 1.5. Okay, I think from here you can use the calculator. So let me open up my calculator. So we want uh, menu 1. So let me move this move if I can move yeah so this is uh, 17 point five bracket minus 20 plus plus oh, sorry so let me delete that plus 34 times 1.5 and close the bracket which is 542.25. So the answer is 542.25. So if you have done this, you can give, be proud of yourself. So you can give yourself, say, two stars or two smiley face. Okay, let us move on to the next question. This is this was question number four, and now we'll move to question number five. Okay, so what does it say? The function f is defined by f uh, such that x uh, runs from, uh, this is the function ax plus b, for x belongs to real numbers where a and b are constants. It is given by f of 2 is 1 and f of 5 is 7. You want to find the constants a and b. It's a very easy question. So what is given? So we know f of x function is ax plus b. This is what is given. Real numbers, x belongs to real numbers, okay? And the next information that we have is f of 2 is 1. Now, what does this mean? It means when x is 2, the function, this implies 
when x is 2, f of x becomes 1. So I can say 1 is equal to a times 2, which is 2a plus b. So this is your first equation. Okay, the second information that we have is f of r is equal to 7. This means when x is 5, f of x is 7. So I can say 7 is equal to x is 5, that is 5a plus b. So these are the two equations, simple uh, linear simultaneous equations. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. I want to find a and b, so I have to solve a and b. So I'm going to use 2 minus 1. So I'm going to write 2 first. I'm going to write like this, 5a plus b is equal to 7. And this I can write as 2a plus b is equal to 1. So I'm taking away 1 from 2. So I'll put a minus here so that I remember. So I'll read like this, 5a take away 3a. Sorry, 5a take away 2a is 3a. And a minus b will get cancelled is equal to 7 take away 1 is 6. Now if 3a is equal to 6, a should be 2. Now we can put this value of 2 in this or this. So let us use, uh, I don't have space here, so let me finish. So 2a plus b is equal to 1, which implies what is a? a is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus b is equal to 1. So if you take away 4 from both sides, this would imply b is negative 3. So a is 2 and b is negative 3. So now this is the second part. Find, solve the function if f of x is equal to 0. So let us write f of x. f of x is ax plus b. And we know a is 2 and b is negative 3. So I can say f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Now the question is, if f of x is 0, you have to solve this. So what is given is f of x is equal to 0, which implies 2a minus 3, uh, 2x, sorry, I should have written, not a. I should have written x here. Okay. So I can rewrite this is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Adding 3 to both sides, you can say 2x is equal to 3. And dividing both sides by 2, you can get 3 over 2. Therefore, x is equal to 1.5. Okay. Let us look at the next question. Okay, sketch the graph of y is equal to 3 sine x for the interval negative pi to pi. <clears throat> so, now this 3, let me write the equation. y is equal to 3 sine x. Now this 3 tells me the amplitude. This is the amplitude. And the coefficient of x is 1. So, yeah, so the amplitude is 3, yeah, and the period of a sine curve, here yeah, it has a, co the coefficient of x is 1, so here yeah, we know the sine curve has a period of 360. So, what do I mean by that? If this had a 2, year 2x, the period would be 180. That means within 360 degrees, you will have two cycles here. Yeah. Okay, so we want to sketch the graph. So amplitude, so sine, your sine graph starts from zero because you know sine zero is zero. Okay, so here the amplitude is three, so it will go up to, okay, sorry, the maximum of a sine x is one and the minimum is negative one. I'm talking about y is equal to sine x. In this case, the coefficient here is 1, so a sine curve will go from maximum is 1 and minimum is negative 1. The baseline is 0. So what do I mean? Let me sketch 
uh, I'll have to drag this down this is the next question okay so first let me draw the sine curve first so the sine curve sorry this is what I want so this is my what's happening here So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis okay and I will draw a dotted line this is the maximum and this is the minimum okay this is not drawn to scale so here let me draw so this is one and this is negative one so this is called the maximum and this is called the minimum and this is the baseline. So a sine curve, a sine has a cycle of 360 or a period of 360. So this is 90. Say this is 180. I'm going at a step of 90. This is 270. And this is 360. A sine starts at 0. So this is 0. It reaches the maximum at 90. Hits again minimum or baseline this is minimum and this is maximum sorry baseline so let me graph it so let me make it colorful so this is your sign this is the graph of sign x so this is y is equal to sign x so this has a period of 360 and this is the amplitude l amplitude of Mm, one okay now if you want to change this into sine three sine x what i have to do is i have to change this it's not drawn to scales so i would say this is my three and this is my minus three and this graph now is the graph of y is equal to let me use a different color y is equal to sine sorry three sine x just like that See you in the next video.